everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be yet another haul. If you love hauls, make sure you're subscribed and that you have clicked that bell so that your notifications are turned on because this is going to be our summer of hauls. I'm going to be sharing five to six hauls all summer long of everything that we have purchased for our back to school new home school year. Today's haul is going to be Rainbow Resources. I told you guys that they were not at the convention, so we had to place an order with them online, which we knew we would do because we love some of the things that Rainbow Resources has. Not only do we love some of the things that they have, we also really love their prices. I highly encourage you to compare prices with Amazon and them because they normally have lower prices or at least very, very comparable. And then once you spend a certain amount, your shipping is free. So that's what we're going to be sharing today is our rainbow resource haul. But first I have to tell you guys something. So I was getting ready to film this video and Emily picked my shirt out because it is a rainbow tie dye shirt. And according to her, it just matched the theme of this video. So I am wearing a rainbow shirt to do our rainbow haul. Anyway, let's just jump into the stuff. So the first thing that I have to show you guys are these games. You have probably seen them on social media because I have been sharing them all over Instagram. They are super genius. Multiplication one and multiplication two. They remind me of Spot It. Um, multiplication one is two times to five times. Multiplication two is six times to nine times. Like I said, we've already been playing these, so I'm gonna show you how they play. Basically, you end up with two stacks of cards, one with all the answers and one with all of the multiplication problems. And then whoever can, you know, scream it out first, like, I'm sorry, I'm not really good at doing this upside down. Um, okay, so three times three is nine, gets to keep those cards. Whoever gets the most cards at the end wins. So it's kind of like war meets spotted. So if you have a kiddo who likes that, these games are fantastic. They have them in reading numbers. Um, I think they have some like compound words. So far we've only tried the multiplication because that is what we needed a little bit of help in this summer. Since we're speaking of multiplication, this was the other resource that I picked up and it is Dice Games for Multiplication Mastery. So it, it is these fabulous laminated, if you will, kind of game boards. So you need things like dice, um, maybe like little tokens or bingo chips, but essentially it is basically, it tells you the rules and tells you what to do and there is one for every, like you can see here, this is times four, times five. There is four different kinds of games um, for each of the times tables. So you have plenty of variety. Uh, let's see, here's a different kind of game. It was just kind of, again, like a fun way with things we already have on hand. So. I've gone through all of them and so far, at least to my knowledge, the only additional things that we have needed is two dice, um, maybe a piece of paper for keeping score, and some sort of little token like um, bingo chips or uh, little rocks, just two different kinds because you would be you know, marking for the two different players. So that is another fantastic resource if you have somebody looking to um, master their multiplication tables. I don't know if they have like division or addition or subtraction. I was only looking for multiplication. So that is um, what I know they have. Okay, you guys, I'm just gonna dive into this box. Another thing that we picked up was the Mind Benders. This is a critical thinking um, kind of deductive skills type of workbook. Emily really enjoys them. This is level three, which is grades three through six. We've done level one and level two. They are a lot of fun. Um, it's kind of like a process of elimination, if you will. So it gives you the clues and then you're, you know, putting pluses or minuses or Y's or N's, yeses and no's to try to figure out, you know, who is who and what is what. I think, oh, no, we have a few more books. Most of what I got is games, though, you guys, because they have fantastic prices on games. So this, 
I'm gonna tell you my idea with this set of books. These are a set of poetry adventure books by Brian Cleary. Now I bought each of these separate. There wasn't like a bundle or a set of them. Each one of these books is a different type of poetry. And in the front, the very first thing you have here is like, what is, for instance, this is acrostic poems, and then is a book full of acrostic poems. So that is the first one I got. Um, I have the concrete poems, the haiku and lantern poems, limericks, and list poems. And I really thought that these would be a great addition to like maybe our poetry tea times because we could, <coughs> excuse me, um, read some of the different types of poems and then maybe even practice writing some of our own in that kind of same style. So anything, you know, to make writing a little more fun. And along those same lines of making writing more fun, I also grabbed four of these, but three have already disappeared of these half, um, like half size composition, wide ruled notebooks. So it's just plain notebook paper, <clears throat> but she absolutely loves them. I like them. They're really perfect for like, if you're, um, like if she narrates something to me and she wants to copy it down instead of like using a whole notebook page when I only need a little bit, I love having these on hand for that. And then I also picked up the composition journals that have the blank space on the top and the wide ruled pages at the bottom. So that way she had plenty of room and every page is like that. So that way she'd have plenty of room to draw and write. And again, I picked up four. I don't know where the other two have gone. I guess it's a good sign, right? She's already gotten into them and she's already using them. All right, and then like I said, the last things that I got are pretty much all games. They have some of the best prices. Or what I have also found is that sometimes if a game is out of stock elsewhere, Rainbow Resource will have it because less people buy there and their stock tends to um, stick around. Like, last, you know, less people buy there, everybody runs to Amazon. So I have found that they are likely to have things that maybe other places are sold out of or don't have. Or if a game is being discontinued, I always, always, always check there because sometimes they still have a few left in stock and you can get them, which is the case for, I think at least one of these, I remember that it was going out of stock. I just don't remember which one. Okay, the first thing game-wise that I picked up was some of the science-based Flux games. <clears throat> They're not, Flux is not my favorite, but again, Kevin took over science and they like these. So I went ahead and got them the Chemistry Flux, Nature Flux, Astronomy Flux, and Anatomy Flux. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Um, states of the USA, the All-American Trivia Game. It's state flags, shapes, capitals, and landmarks. I want to say that this is one of the ones that was maybe low in stock on Amazon or going out. And so I thought I would go ahead and pick it up because I knew it would be a perfect addition to traveling the states. And then another one that I got to go with traveling the states was the Great States Test Your Knowledge of State Landmarks, Locations, and Capitals. It looks like it comes with 400 question cards. I'm going to remind you guys, in case you forgot, we are a trivia loving family, so we love those kinds of things. If you don't like trivia, you may not like those. Um, flags of the World. I knew this would go really well with traveling the world. So it is... Um, a flag game. It says take a trip around the world and learn about different flags, countries, capital cities, and much, much more. And then again, along those same lines, another one that would go really well with traveling the world was Passport to Culture, the travel edition. Pack your bags and take Passport to Culture travel edition with you on a continent hopping adventure through world cultures with more than a thousand new unique questions. So I thought that one would be really fun and it looks like a really fun game. 
And then the last two I got are from The Young Scientist. I have no idea if these are decent games or not. We have never um, bought one of these, but the two themes screamed Emily to me, and I think they were less than $10, so they were worth giving them a try. So this is The Young Scientist Prehistoric Animal Game. And it has four games in one, memory, guessing, fun facts, and bingo with a full-size activity poster included. And then the same type is the ocean animal game. So again, four games in one, memory, guessing, a fun fact, and bingo with a full-size activity poster included as well on this one. All right, you guys, that is our Rainbow Resource Back to School haul. And don't forget that if you love hauls, you're gonna wanna be subscribed and click that bell notification icon because there are more to come this summer.